It was good YouTube. So today we're at a different angle than usual, as you can see, because I did get a switch. And uh, here's some accessories we're gonna unbox. So this, I mean, both were on Amazon, but this is just a, so is my recording. Yo, we good. So we back. Yeah, off of Amazon. Because the Joy-Cons are like $80, which is really whack. That's more than my PS5 and Xbox controllers, I'm pretty sure. So I got this like used like new one for like 50. It's still a lot for controllers, but better than paying the full price. Hopefully they work. We're going to check that out today. Then I got this thing. Uh, I'll probably put a video of it already installed before, but it's basically a dock that attaches to the existing switch dock so you can charge multiple controllers at the same time on it because uh i don't want to have to keep putting it on top of the switch every time just to charge and all this stuff is why but it's open it cheap packaging though as you can probably tell but that's not all matters Let's see uh this is cardboard i guess to Hold it in place. What does this do? Awesome. So there's two languages, some QR codes. Let's see what it says. USB 2.0 plug, joypad charging slots, indicator, blah, blah, blah. Remove protective film. So there's a sticker you can use to stick it to that. I'm probably not going to. I'm gonna just attach it normally. Plug it into USBs. See what happens. So that's the user manual. That's all there is to it. So some of them have things that clip around and then attach on the other side too, but this just has a sticker you can pull off here to stick it to the bottom of the say to the bottom of the dock right there. But like I said, I'm not gonna do this. Take this switch out. USB over here has another USB on this side, so you can still you know, use the USB, it doesn't just take away a slot from the back. Simple, plug in, push it in, it's on. I'll look, so I don't know if you can see it, I'll probably zoom it in after, but there's four lights lighting up for all of these, so let's see that it's working. All right, let me put in a Joy-Con to see what it says. If it does anything different. Uh, yeah, so I don't know how to tell if it's charging. Upon further inspection, which is probably why you don't wear sunglasses inside and you actually read instruction manuals, but yes, the four indicators stay blue, but when it's fully charged, it turns blue again. It's red when it is charging. So I'll see if I can zoom in here. But the two new like you know used like new controllers are red and the c and d these are blue because they're already on the switch let me try putting in these see if it does something different because these shouldn't have any battery in them at all but they look like genuine nintendo switch controllers have all the writing and stuff on them but let's see yeah, this comes with the other two things, which is pretty good. If I wanted to play Mario Galaxy again, and it's better to play it like that for the motion controls and whatever. But yeah, as you can see, that's about it. Plugs in nicely. I mean. One thing I noticed is I'm not going to put the sticker on because I want to stick it there permanently, but you might have to hold down the thing when you pull out the controllers because it might lift out if you only have one in there. And then that pretty nifty thing seems like the controllers are all charging. And, uh, yeah. Nintendo Switch. I'll probably make some more videos about this thing because I did mod it and I got it like refurbished from GameStop for like 200 bucks to so cheap and free games, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, 
See you in the next one. That's about it for this. Thank <sniffs> you.